What's up? I'm Vin, and today I want to show how to construct perpendicular rays. So what we have here is we're starting with a ray, and the first thing we're going to do here is just draw a random point. So now we can move the compass here, and we're going to move the fixed point of the compass to the point that I just drew, and we're going to open this up here and measure the distance all the way to the beginning of this first ray. So what we have here, just move this a little bit, here's that perfect distance, and now I'm going to swing an arc like this. So I'm going to swing it so that it hits the ray over here, and then I'm going to continue to swing it in this direction, kind of imagining here where that second ray is going to go perpendicular to the first one. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to connect this point here to the red point, and we're going to extend it all the way through to that arc that we swung on the opposite side. And now all we want to do is connect this point here to the point of intersection that we made up here. And notice that this second ray that we've drawn in here is perpendicular to the original. So we could throw in some labels here, and then we could draw our conclusion that L is going to be perpendicular to M. Now, real quick, what's the concept behind this? Why does this construction work? Well, if I were to continue this circle all the way around like this, what we're essentially doing here is we're constructing the diameter of a circle, and we're treating these two rays as rays that are forming an inscribed angle. And just know if you have a diameter, it's cutting the circle in half. So this is 180 degrees. So this inscribed angle that intercepts half the circle is going to be half of 180 or 90 degrees. 